Let's take a look at whether sodium, that's Na, forms a cation. Think of a cation, that T is a positive charge, a positive ion, or an anion, a negative ion. So if we look at the periodic table, this is a very simplified version where we see group one, all of these elements form ions that are one plus. They're cations, they have that plus in it there. Group two, two plus, skip the transition metals, and so on. So we want to know whether sodium forms a cation or an anion. If we find sodium on the periodic table, sodium is right here, it's in group one. So it's going to have a one plus ionic charge. We just write a plus up there. Because of that, sodium is a cation. It has that positive charge. What that means is sodium will lose one electron. Since electrons are negative, it loses that one electron. It becomes one plus. We write the ion, the cation, for sodium Na+. Another way to think about this is to look at the electron configuration for sodium. So neutral sodium has 11 protons and then 11 electrons. When we write the configuration out, we see the highest energy level, that third energy level, that only has one valence electron. So we can lose that. We can give that away to another atom. And we're left with the second energy level right here full. So that's very stable. When sodium loses that one electron, that makes it positive, a one plus, and it's a cation. So in answer to our question, sodium forms cations. Na plus. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.